In this video, I'm going to teach you how you need to create a nice interactive donut pie chart in Microsoft Excel and how to connect this with span button and with slicer. For example, I have many, many category in my data sheet and I want to compare only few category and I will just skip all of other category and I will assign other as a category name. And I want to compare these category with my other category. But let's say I want to see only top 5 category. I will click on this pen button and I can easily filter out top 5 category now. And I can compare the other percentage with top 5 category. And not only this, we can use this dynamic slicer to filter out by any region. So you can make slicer for any KPI you want from your data sheet. And also I can further filter out by sale channel slicer as well. So how we can create this amazing chart in Microsoft Excel, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this data sheet. The first thing I will click anywhere on this table, click on insert. And we need to insert pivot table on a new worksheet. The next thing I will simply move item type on a rows field. And now I will scroll a little bit more and simply move total revenue on a values field. The next thing I will click on this filter button, more sorting option, descending order. And from this drop down, I will simply sort based on sum of total revenue column and hit OK. Now we need to create few helper column. The first thing I will click on D4 cell and simply type filter function. Open parenthesis. In this case, I will select all of my data sheet. Control shift down arrow key. But I will include some more blank row. So I will hold shift key and using down arrow key, I will select few more rows as well. Let's say 50 rows. Hit comma. And for the include parameter, I will select only the first column net equal to blank close parenthesis and hit enter now this will filter all of the non blank set if we scroll on the bottom rows we can see a grand total so the first thing i will click on my pivot table again click on design grand total and simply off the grand total for rows and column and now you can see we only get our category in filter function the next thing i will click on g4 sale and here we need to apply a very easy take function open parenthesis what is the array so i will click on d4 cell and simply type hash and it will select my entire array hit comma and how many rows you want so currently i will define 10 as a hard coded value hit comma and how many columns you want i will define two close parenthesis hit enter and now you can see we get only 10 rows based on our take function of course, we need to make our 10 dynamic. So I will click on G1 cell and simply type 10 here. Hit enter. And now click on my formula again and simply remove the 10 and refresh G1 cell and hit enter. Now, if I change G1 to let's say 5, it will automatically filter out 5 cell. The next thing I will click again on my tag function and we need to apply sort function. Open parenthesis. What is the array? This whole function result is my array. Hit comma. And for the sorting index, I will define 2. And for the sorting order, I will define 1. Close parenthesis. Hit enter. And this is necessary step while creating this amazing chart. The next thing, we need to apply a similar drop function as well. Open parenthesis. What is the array? I will click on D4 and simply type hash manually. Hit comma. How many rows you want to drop? I will click on G1 cell, hit comma, and how many columns you want to drop? In this case, I want to skip the first column. So I will drop the first column and close parenthesis, hit enter. I will click on my drop function again and simply apply a very easy sum function, open parenthesis and simply close parenthesis. The only thing remaining, we need to apply H stack function now. Open parenthesis for the first array, I will simply define other quotation mark again, hit comma. And for the second array, we will use our sum function result. Simply close parenthesis, hit enter. And this is how we calculate other dynamically. The only thing remaining is 
we need to combine these two function i will copy the whole function excluding equal sign hit control c click on g4 cell and simply apply vstack function open parenthesis what is array 1 i will simply hit control v hit comma and what is array 2 array 2 is our take function result and now simply close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we automatically insert other in our take function now if i simply type 10 it will automatically calculate the other as well as the category total now i will remove this function from here and we need to calculate the percentage so for this i will apply a very easy function simply type equal choose column double click and now i will click on g4 cell type hash and this will select my entire array hit comma in this case i want to take only the second column so i will simply type two close parenthesis now if i hit enter it will only extract the second column what i need to do i will copy this whole function and now i will simply type divide by type sum function open parenthesis control v and close parenthesis for sum function hit enter and this is how we calculate our percentage if i select the entire column and simply assign percentage now we need to create our formula for data label for now if i click on my chart tab you can see we have the name of category the total sale we have a dollar symbol on the end we have a k symbol just to make our number look smaller and also we have percentage in parentheses I will click on my sheet 3 again and we need to build formula for this. For now I will increase the width of column J a little bit more and the first thing if I click on J4 seal you can see this is an array. So what I need to do I will click on J4 seal simply type equal choose column function double click what is the array I will click on G4 type hash hit comma in this case i want to extract only the first column close parenthesis hit enter now i will click on j4 cell again for now i will copy this whole function hit ctrl c and percent corrected 10 corrected 10 is actually a line break in formula and percent again and now i will simply type text function open parenthesis what is the value i will simply hit ctrl v and now instead of column 1 i want to bring column 2 hit comma quotation mark dollar h comma quotation mark again and now simply close parenthesis for text function and now i will type and percent again corrected 10 function close parenthesis and percent again and we need to build formula for our percentage I will simply type text function again open parenthesis what is the video in this case i will simply click on i4 cell type hash and this will select my entire array hit comma and for the format text i will simply type quotation mark 0.0, .0 percentage quotation mark again close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we calculate percentage but of course i need to type open close parenthesis as well so after this end percent i will simply type quotation mark open parenthesis quotation mark again end percent on the very end i will simply type end percent quotation mark close parenthesis and percent again and simply hit enter the only thing we need to do i need to type corrected 10 function before and after and this is very important for our this chart so i will simply click on the very end and type and percent corrected 10 function and now copy this whole formula hit ctrl c after equal sign ctrl v this function and don't forget to type and percent as well now our formula is ready and we need to use this formula in our data label now our data are ready for the chart the first thing i will click on g1 cell in this case i will type 15 and what is mean by 15 let's say i want to compare max 15 category with other percentage 
The first thing I will select my first two column, click on insert and here I will simply insert pie chart. Now I will simply hit Ctrl X this pie chart, insert a new worksheet and I will rename this let's say chart 1. I will click anywhere and simply hit Ctrl V. The first thing we need to increase the height and width of this chart. I will click on format and for the height let's say I am going to type 12 and for the width let's say I am going to type 18 cm. Now I will click on this plus button and we need to off the chart title and also legend as well. I will click on this plus button again, click on format. On the very left side, you can see plot area. I will simply click this plot area and we need to decrease the plot area a little bit more. The next thing I will click on my chart design and here you can see change color. I will click this one and now I will simply select monochromatic palette 10, sorry palette 11. The next thing we need to apply data label. I will click on plus button, apply data label, more data label options, value from cell and now simply click on sheet 3. In this case, I will select all of my data label and simply hit OK. In this case, I will uncheck the value and only value from cell will be displayed. I will scroll a little bit more and for the label position, make sure you select best fit. Don't select outside, inside or center position. Now I will click on home and we need to make it bold. Increase the font size a little bit more. Now you can see when I increase the font size, each and every data label is showing outside of my chart. The only thing is, I will click on this pie chart and if I click on other again, it will only select the other category slicer. I will click on format. In this case for the shape fill, I will select this light orange color just to make it different from all of the category. And now again, I will click on my other data label. Now this will select all of the data label. If I click again, this will only select the other category data label. I will click on label option and for the label position, I will select outside end. Now the last thing is we need to insert spend button. I will click on developer tip, click on insert and here you can see spend button. I will insert a spend button and now I will insert inside of my chart. Right click on this button, format control. For the link cell, I will click on up arrow, go to sheet 3 and simply select G1 cell. Click on this down arrow again. For the minimum value, I will define 1 and for the max value, I will define 15 because 15 is enough to display on this chart. And now I will simply hit OK. Now if I click on my spend button, each and everything is dynamically displaying. The next thing we need to insert slicer as well. I will click on sheet 3. I will scroll a little bit more. Click on my pivot table. Click on pivot table analyze. Insert slicer and I will insert slicer based on the region and sale channel and simply hit OK. I will select both of my slicer, hit Ctrl X, go to chart one sheet, click here, Ctrl V. Now I will adjust the position of my slicer. And now if I clear my slicer, each and everything is dynamically updating. And now if I select, everything is totally dynamic. The only thing is, I promise with you, we need to create a donut chart, not a pie chart. So how to convert this chart into a donut chart? I will click on insert and we need to insert a circular shape and now simply click here and this will insert a circular shape. Now simply move this circle on the center of your chart. For the shape fill, I will simply select white color and for the shape outline, in this case, I will select the black outline. Again, to make it more cleaner, I will select my whole pie chart. Click on format and for the shape outline, I will select the black color. 
again click on shape outline and for the weight i will simply select one by four point size now my chart is look like a donut chart of course we need to adjust this circle size a little bit more i will click on shape format and let's say i will display this three centimeter and three centimeter and now i will play a little bit more with this circle now our chart is looking clean the only thing left we need to display the total revenue inside our circle so i will click on sheet 3 again and we need to apply a very easy formula simply type equal quotation mark total revenue so instead of whole revenue i will simply type rev dot quotation mark again at percent character 10 close parenthesis and percent again text function open parenthesis apply a sum function open parenthesis in this case i will sum all of the entire column and for the format quotation mark dollar h comma h 0, 0.0 and now simply type 2 comma for million quotation mark again close parenthesis and percent quotation mark again and simply type space m quotation mark and hit enter and this is how we develop our formula for data lab and this is the formula for total revenue in million i will click on chart one sheet click on my circle click on formula bar simply type equal go to sheet 3 and i will simply click on h2 seal and hit enter i will center align and mid align increase the font size a little bit more right click format shape and simply expand the text box and here you can see warp text in shape simply uncheck this one now this is the whole story how we create this amazing donut chart in microsoft excel i hope you learned something useful and enjoy this video if you have anything else in your mind just write me comment thank you so much